Shalom. Assalamu alaikum, my friends. Hey, let's let's uh, see if the hadiths about uh, me are true. Let's see if they if they talk about the hadiths. So let's get into some good light. We have some good light right in here. Let's see. They say Imam Mahdi has a mark or a scar on his forehead. Is it on my right side? This is there, right here. If you want to see? They say there's a mark or a scar on my right forehead. So we have that there. <laughs> and the rich right there. Everyone can see it. Now they say that uh, there is a mark on my right leg that is the color of Mohammed, right? Now I don't know if the camera can really give you the actual color that I have on my skin, you know. I am white and ruddy and tan and golden and olive, if you, if you can look at it in that manner. I used to have a lot of people used to say to me all the time, how you get your skin so beautiful, the color and beauty of it and all that time. I don't know, I don't know what they're talking about, but that's what they say. So they say about my nose, well here's my nose, they say I have a slight hump in it, that I do. But that that hump, I also, it, it was, it was something happened, and it also looked... So that, that, that is a, why they're talking about my nose. <laughs> And they say that Imam Mehdi, he has a mark on his right, on his right cheek. And in reality, that mark, it, it can become many things that's on my face, to be honest. Just to let you guys know, it is like a myrtle leaf, like they say. There is a lot of things that are with it that takes place when the light hits that part and reflections off of it. It can become almost moon-like and, and everything else very, just like the Hadith, you know, oh, the Mahdi's face will appear on the moon. No, 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 it's, it's in certain light. This, this, this thing here <laughs> makes, makes marks on my face right here. It make a certain marks happen. Now they say that the coloring, right? They're looking at the color. They say that there's a mark on my right leg that is the color of Muhammad, right? Let's see if that's right. This is my right side. Let's see if, if there's any truth to that. Right here. It is almost like a, it's weird. It's like a patch, somebody else's skin is patched on my body. It's weird. It does look kind of scarry, but it's not. There's not the clear, like there's not the cut of, of clearness that you could say it's a scar or something happened. It's like a patch of skin is put there. That's a little bit off of my color. It's a little darker. I can get very tan when I stay in the sun. And then that mark will kind of blend in with the color of my skin. You really see it big time in the, uh, what is it? The, look at that. There's that the mark. <laughs> you really see it big time in the uh, winter time when I get a whiter and lighter in color. Then when you see it, it looks really dark. Then you really can see it. But in the summer, you can't really tell. But, uh, so I guess some of their hadiths, they are right. It, 
They're true. Hey, look at this. This right here. This was a picture. This kid drew it when we were little kids. A friend of mine in class, he drew that. He said, it said, that's, that's you. He drew me, he said, that's you. And look at me today. You know what I mean? And we drew that when we were like in first or second grade, he drew that. And now look at me today. <laughs> oh, okay. So yeah, those uh, marks are there. Uh, let's take a look at my back, if we can. We can try to look and see if there's something on my back. I can't really look at my back, you know? Can you look at your back? So, I'll set this thing up right here, the camera, right here on this thing here. Let's see. So I don't know if that was any good or what we're supposed to be looking looking for. So I just wanted to see and show people, you know. I have no reason to lie and claim that my name is not the rightly guided when Cart Cartwright Bishop means Mahadi and I am rightly guided. And yes, I very much believe in God and His Son. And there is nobody who can tell me anything about the Most High God. I basically, it, 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 when I say this, I'm saying this from my heart, man, from my heart. I talk to the Most High God daily. And He speaks to me. And I know He's alive. That's how I know. And there is no deception or guile or anything that's within me when it comes to speaking about my creator i love him with all of my heart with all of my mind and with all of my strength and i do unto others as god wants as god has done to me and to them i want done to me what i would do to someone in the whole manner to bring it all together to be godly under his banner of love so don't fool around with me with your lies and deceptions of religions and rituals and sacrifices and all that that kind of stuff. Here we have in this light, I am a little bit different there in color. I can show you the moon, the moon thing that happens on my face in, in lighting that is... Well, let's see, where's the lighting supposed to be? There. There's the thing that happens on my face, the moon thing. But if I go over here, let's see, where is it at in over here, if there's a better, a better view. There. Different different lights will reveal different things that are are there on that on this right cheek. So different lights revealing different things, but there's that. That is always there like that. And and my eyebrows, yes, they are curved up. All that kind of stuff. Hey, let's see what the, what does that mark look like in here in this light. Let's take a look. 
since I'm a little darker. There's the mark is right there. So I don't know. <laughs> Shalom. Assalamu alaikum, my friends.